Traffic volume in India is growing at 12% a year with the country's brisk economic growth, putting a huge strain on its road network. But road building hasn't kept pace, leading to choked highways and potholed roads. That's all set to change, according to India's new highways minister, Kamal Nath. He wants a five-fold increase in the length of roads built each year. We are looking at uh, uh, building 7,000 kilometers per year, starting from next year. Because if we've got to make a visible difference, you've got to have a quantum jump. Really, that translates to 20 kilometers per day. That will be one of the most major road building programs ever undertaken. Uh, at the moment, we are doing somewhere around two kilometers per day. This is a huge task, and the government department entrusted with this, the National Highways Authority, is already struggling to add the capacity required to meet the minister's ambitious target. We're going to get there by stages. It takes about three years to construct a road. So if you are aiming at, say, 20 kilometers a day, it means you've got project reports ready at the, at the rate of 20 kilometers a day. It means you're doing land acquisition at the rate of 20 kilometers a day. So these are very formidable pre-construction targets as well. Um, I think it will be possible to reach there over a period of time. But at the moment, we are at a much lower level. We hope to do about 2,500 kilometers in the present year. And we'll ramp up to this high level over a series of years. But big challenges lie ahead like securing land for highways. The federal government usually approaches state governments to identify land and negotiates the price with rural owners. This is a complicated and time-consuming process. The main obstacle has been the cooperation of the state governments. We're trying to overcome that. We've asked the states to set up about 155 special land acquisition units. Some states we're setting up five units, some states we're setting up 15 depending on the number of land acquisitions we're planning over the next few years. And this is the real challenge for expanding on this scale in a big bureaucratic country like India. China, with its record of aggressive land grabs, can carry out road building far more swiftly than it could ever be in the world's biggest democracy. The major challenge is the land acquisition. If land acquisition is, I mean the project should not even take off without 80% land in hand. And that is what government is trying to do. In case there is a, you know, projects allotted uh, day after day and the land available to you to develop is only 20-30%, then the delays are inevitable. The delays will happen. The challenges will be there. The private player will suffer losses. Meanwhile, Minister Nath is actively lobbying foreign investors for funds. He aims to bring in $10 billion in the next three years and believes that despite the problems of mass land purchase, India's highway sector will provide good returns. Foreign investors can come in many ways. It's in the construction period. That's one kind of risk. Uh, there's the post-construction people. It's through toll. You securitize toll. And the traffic on toll is easily accessible. And I see there's going to be a 10-12% growth in traffic. So the numbers are very appealing. The size of the pie is attracting big players, including Indian conglomerate Punj Lloyd. The $1.4 billion group operates in 46 countries. But here in India, it may still tie up with foreign companies due to the scale of the highway projects on offer. Expertise is not what is required. It's really capacity in terms of the soft side. Uh, the people, the engineers, the quantity surveyors, you know, the, it's that, the project managers, construction managers, that is the piece that we would look to partner with foreign companies depending on the size and scale of the project. This infrastructure push could add momentum to the Indian economy in the ongoing slowdown since poor infrastructure is estimated to take two percentage points off the country's GDP growth each year. The whole landscape will change, our transaction costs will go down, movement will be there, values of land will go up, people um, uh, will see the economic impact of this in many ways, in ways of greater efficiencies, transaction costs. The minister plans to connect all 50 cities in India that have a population of more than one million. With quicker and cheaper transport of goods, the hope is that this could drive the country into the 21st century.